great pleasure. We now bring on the newest member of the BYU basketball team, four-star recruit Caleb Lohner, joining us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Caleb, welcome officially to BYU Sports Nation. Thank you, thank you. How would you describe the last month of your life and the transition to BYU? Um, you know, it's been a crazy experience, um, but overall, I am so excited where I've ended up. I'm so pumped to be part of this team. Um, I'm grateful and I'm blessed to be able to play for this staff and play with this team we got coming on this year. It's going to be awesome. Uh, let's talk about the hair because that's a big deal, right? So you, you yeah. got a haircut coming to BYU. That's a thing that happens, right? Uh, so what was that process <laughs> like? And we're seeing the new do. It looks good, man. Um, I mean, at first we were kind of like, yo, how can we keep it? Like, I haven't cut my hair in a long time. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I know how everything rolls at BYU. So I had to go get it cut up. Um, but, yeah, it just kind of shows, like, I'm all in. I'm ready to get to work. And I got to – I mean, I'll do what I got to do to be part of this team. Caleb, how tall are you with your new haircut? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm the same height. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what, by the way? I've seen 6'6 six, six to 6'9. Six, what, what, what are you? It's, I'm 6'8. I'm is that with shoes or without? That's without. Without, gotcha. So, okay. And it depends who you are. Some guys list their height with shoes, right? Yeah. It can kind yeah. of depend. I like 6'8. That's, that's a good height. Okay, we'll make it official as of BYU Sports Nation. The freshly haircut 6'8", Caleb Lohner with us on <laughs> BYU Sports Nation. Caleb, uh, let's talk about your initial recruitment to BYU when uh, uh, things were still happening and a lot of schools were in interested in you. What was that initial recruitment to BYU like? Um, it was good. I started being recruited by BYU with Dave Rose and Tim Lacombe, and that was uh, my freshman year of high school, so that was quite a bit ago. Um, grew up loving BYU. My dad played here a long time ago. Um, and, yeah, that's kind of how the process all started off with those guys. And then this year they brought in the new staff, and now I'm at BYU. So you end up signing with Utah, and Mark Harlan and Larry Kraskoviak, they let you out of that, which is good because then you can have a scholarship and immediately play and don't have to apply for a waiver. What was that process like as you uh, ultimately changed your mind? Um, you know what? It was, it was a little bit crazy, but at the end of the day, I think I came out with a lot of peace. Um, I really am want to reiterate that I'm really grateful um, for Coach Kraskoviak and Mark Harlan, and I have a really – I have a huge respect for both of them, and I'm grateful for that they released my NLI, allowing me to play. Um, but, yeah, like I'm, I'm ready to move on. I'm so excited to be up at BYU and ready to think, get things rolling. BYU basketball commit Caleb Lohner on BYU Sports Nation. Caleb, when did your mind start to change and the desire to come to BYU uh, start to take hold in your mind? Um, I think it's been – I think it's been a little bit now. Um, I think originally when I made the decision, there were so many pushing and pulling factors taking me different places that ultimately I didn't choose um, what I wanted to do. And I think now um, I was able to sit back, um, forget about everything else, and everybody telling me what to do and where to go and how to do things. And I made this decision for me, and I'm really, really excited. What role did how BYU played under Mark Pope in year one have on you? The success they had? Um, you know what? Their success was really intriguing to me, but I don't think that was a, a huge factor in all of this. I just think at the end of the day, um, when I did make my decision, there were, again, all those factors, different things pushing and pulling me different ways that I wasn't able to make the decision that I wanted. Caleb, what makes Mark Pope and this staff best suited for you to be your coaches now? Um, I think they're just hungry. They want to win, and I know all these guys have bought into what uh, Mark Pope and the staff are selling, and they had a successful year last year, and I don't see why we can do that again this year. There's a lot of new guys. You're one of them. It's very exciting. We're, we're thinking this is one of the deeper teams BYU's had in a while, so 
Um, what, what do you feel like that kind of competition to not only be a, be a team and win, but also to try and earn minutes, it's, it's going to be a fun challenge for everybody. Yeah, I think um, at the end of the day, there's so many guys on the team that can hoop. Um, it's just going to push everyone to be better on the court, off the court. Uh, so I think this dynamic of these guys that BYU and Mark Pope has gotten this year is going to be awesome. Like, I'm, I'm so excited to get things going. Caleb, what's your first impression of this current roster that now features seven foot three Matt Harms, a transfer from Purdue, Brandon Aver, a transfer from Oklahoma State and Utah Valley, Alex Barcelo came from Arizona, now you're at BYU, and then you bring back guys to BYU like Connor Harding. Uh, the list goes on. What do you think of the roster and your new teammates? I think this roster is going to be really special, and I think if we can, I think everyone is. I'm going to buy into what Coach Pope and the staff are going to have us do, and I think we could have a really successful year. And if I understand it, are you, are you in school or around BYU now uh, participating in workouts and stuff? Um, not quite. So there's a few things that we have to take care of, but um, we're working on all that, and I'll be in the gym as soon as I can. Gotcha. Uh, how did you become 6'8 if your dad was 6'1? That's fun. I don't know, man. I think about <laughs> that all the time. My family's small. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm adopted. If I didn't look like my dad, I would. There would be some concern. So are you? So you're six eight. Are you two thirty? Yeah. You're, you're like you're like college ready. Um, it, you know, and your dad was listed as six one one seventy five. I'm I'm six foot one seventy five. I can relate to that, right? Um, how how tall is your mom? Do you have tall uncles or something? Like, is it in the uh, um, in the family? I have like one or two tall. I have an uncle that's like six five, but I mean he's he's a little bit like skinny. Um, my mom's five nine, maybe five eight. She's not crazy tall. Again, I don't know where this came from, but <laughs> I'm blessed and I'm glad that I'm tall. Um, but yeah, just I mean it all worked out, I guess, in a weird way. When did you realize you had like a college made body? Cause right now you could jump in physically and play the four. It would seem right now. Um, it was probably a year or two ago. Um, I kind of realized that I got to a good place in my body and athleticism and quickness and speed and all that. And, and I just kept kind of kept me motivated and told me like, look, Caleb, you could do something fun if you really wanted to. So was that you talking to yourself saying, Caleb, you can do this? Yeah. I love like it. You've been, given, you've been given something that necessarily hasn't been like living through your family. <laughs> um, so let's, let's take advantage of it and go do something special. <laughs> love it. BYU basketball commit Caleb Lohner on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, which professional player do you pattern your game after? Um, you know what? There's a lot of guys in the NBA that I really like today, and then there's guys in the NBA that I liked a long time ago. Um, there's a few guys that I like in the NBA today, um, like classic. I know Gordon Hayward was really big in Utah for a while. I actually really love the way he played. Um, I love the way Clay Thompson plays. Um, and then some of those hustle guys like Draymond Green, um, those dudes are always good to watch, the way they just play, rebound the ball, shoot the ball. Um, and then, of course, my hero is Larry Bird. I know there's a lot of BYU fans, but that's the same. So hopefully we can bring some of that swag to the court. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you wear number 33 then. Yeah, so I wanted number 11, but um, I think BYU has it retired. So I'm going to have to wear 33, which is all cool to me. Dude, I love the Larry Bird thing because not a lot of kids your age, uh, you know, necessarily appreciate Larry Bird for what he was. So are you going to be walking in the locker room saying stuff like who's taking second in this next drill, that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, that's just all confidence. <laughs> you can't be great if you don't have confidence, right? You know what's funny about that that story in the three-point uh, contest? Larry walks in and says that. Danny Ainge is in that same contest. Like, he's a teammate, and Larry's calling a shot even to his own own guy, right? So I, I love awesome. that. Uh, so Richie Saunders is a, a guy that uh, signed with BYU. He's going to go on a mission to come back. So you'll be able to play, uh, you know, a year or two with him later. 
Tell us about Richie mm-hmm. and that, that kind of dynamic with the two of you from Wasatch. Yo, Rich, Richie's the best, man. Richie's my guy. Um, it was so fun playing with him this year at Wasatch. And, I mean, we had a pretty cool year. Played some cool teams and some cool places. But, yeah, I love Richie. He works hard. He's a phenomenal shooter. Um, man, he's a, he's a good kid. Like, I'm actually kind of sad that – won't be playing with him for a few years, but I'm really, really happy for him that he's going to have a great time on his mission. All right, Caleb, uh, with that Larry Bird swagger, what type of impact do you hope to make in your initial year in your freshman campaign at BYU? You know what? I'm just hoping to do whatever I can to help the team and uh, help this program be the most successful they can. I'm going to listen to Coach Pope and all those guys and, kind of the guidance that they have for me, and then we'll take things from there. I've seen, uh, you know, you shoot threes with these. I've seen you dunk on dudes. Uh, what, what's the vert right now, by the way? Uh, it's around 40. Woo! Yeah, it's almost unfair, dude. You're 6'8", 230, you can shoot threes, and you have 40-inch vertical? I think BYU can work with this. I think we can figure out a place for you here, Caleb. <laughs> All right, man. I'm excited. Let's go. Caleb, it's great to talk with you, man. Uh, just make sure next time you're in the basketball practice facility, you find Jeff Judkins and ask him about his favorite Larry Bird stories. He played with them. You, you got a guy that played with Larry Bird in the Yo, facility. Oh, that's cool. Yes, yeah. I will. I'll make that a priority. All righty. Fine, Juddy. And uh, once again, welcome to BYU, man. Great to talk with you. Awesome. Appreciate you guys. It's great to talk to you. Caleb Lohner, ladies and gentlemen, on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, Deseret First, you know why, we show how. Dude, when he 